right, guys. So I'm going to talk to you about the Lux and um, the tires that I'm, I'm about to uh, go get. <clears throat> so first off, if you're thinking about going with Lux, do it. I was prolonging this, delaying putting the uh, the Lux taillight tints on. Nothing could be easier to do. I thought I was going to screw it up. I'm, I'm just really bad at that kind of stuff. And it was so easy. Like, <clears throat> um, I screwed up a couple times and I just peeled it right off. <clears throat> and it, you know, I put it right back on. And it was like, you just do it until you, you have no bubbles or... say this it looks unbelievable it, it just adds such a, a nice stealthy look to uh, the back of the car and uh, I do have the side markers uh, those eventually will go on but you know what I'm just really impressed with the overall product of Lux and the um, the company itself I mean I spoke on the phone with a guy named Jeff and he was friggin awesome he was so he was so good so you know just as a company I think uh, they just nail it you know they have a great product they have really good customer service which you know based on some of my other videos you know that's insanely important to me um, so overall very very happy um, I would 100% recommend that product uh, it is so easy to do and it just it, it looks stealthy as hell. I love it. Um, now, moving on to the uh, the tires. Now, today at my lunch break, I'm going to go up to Mavis and see what options I have. Now, I know there's a ton of people that are saying, you know, 315s are a little bit big for uh, a 10-inch back rim. Now, I know, um, I know the footprint isn't going to be fully utilized if I go 315s. You know, I got the same kind of feedback when I went 275s uh, for my stock 8-inch rims. Um, and I love it. I, I think it looks, number one, it looks great. Number two, it really, it, it helped improve import, uh, performance and everything. So um, I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how it pans out. But I think um, I've seen multiple people run 315s with success on nine and a half inch uh, width rims and they have plenty of good stuff to say about it uh, would it have been more beneficial if I got 11 inch rims short but I got a, a rim with a 20 millimeter offset so it's it's a big offset and it should be able to fit that width in there um, with without a problem so we're going to see how it pans out, you know. I, I've been wrong before, but it should be interesting. Now, there's a ton of people that ask, what is the max width, or what's the next width that I should get on my car? Now, for most chargers and challengers, you're supposed to go in this, this increment, 245s, 275s, and 315s because you're not changing the diameter now there's a website that will um, verify this and I'll put the website in the description below and a couple of screenshots of what it looks like you really don't want to change the diameter of of the car because then it messes with your speedometer and odometer so just be mindful of that as you're you know modifying your car um, you don't really want to screw things up so I'm gonna go to Mavis today during my lunch break and I'm gonna see what options there are on the table and then uh, I'll do a little bit of research I'll figure out which ones I want to go with the reviews on them I'm gonna go with a cheaper all-season tire I, I really don't want to break the bank um, with these like the Continental Extremes, it was uh, I think it was six hundred and fifty bucks for two tires, and you know I'm 
sitting here listening to so many people rave about a Toros that they're getting for a hundred, you know, 120 bucks. And, you know, I think I'm just going to go that route and see how it pans out. And, um, after the winter, maybe I'll just go with, uh, an, like a real performance, uh, tire, not, you know, an all season. So we'll see how it shakes out. And, um, just letting you know that it is in the works. I really, uh, I'm definitely planning on getting these, uh, things on, uh, before the meet, um, next weekend, October 28th or this weekend, October 28th. So, um, that's that, guys. So I know there's a ton of channels out there that are uh, now doing some of their own challenges. And I think that's so cool. Uh, it's a great way to network and uh, connect with other channels, etc. cetera. Uh, I happened to miss Hemi Mike's uh, challenge. And dude, I, I really just wanna say sorry. I, I feel bad. Um, the truth is, is I, I do have a bum tire on this thing and I took a turn at what, 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Um, and it was a slight turn and this thing couldn't handle it. So, um, as much as I wanted to, you know, participate in, in a challenge, a, um, a G force challenge is not something that I really am overly enthusiastic, um, uh, about, you know, part, you know, doing in this thing. It's, it's a really just not, it's a terrible, um, uh, it's not a good handling car is what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's another challenge out there by, uh, Blue Dreamin and that one I am going to put forth my best effort to get a video out, um, he, uh, he came up with a, a really cool concept. Uh, you know, these cars, they look so cool at night and under, under lights and everything. And, um, you know, his challenge is, is not performance related. Uh, it's to show off your car at night when, um, when, you know, under the spotlights. And I think that's, that it's very, very cool. So I will, um, 100% uh, get something going. I don't know when I'll be able to do it. I'm going to try and carve out some time, um, when it gets a little dark, you know, that's one thing. Um, I just want to say is that a lot of these videos there, I know I post often, but they're done at a time when I'm basically in commute. I have such a ridiculous schedule and you know, a lot of these things are done when I am basically stuck in, in a, in a big pile of waste of time like this traffic. So, you know, it may seem like I have a lot of time, but I really don't. Um, and I really want to make sure that I try to participate in some of your other challenge, you know, all your guys challenges because you guys are troops, you know, uh, with, with mine and you know, you crush it. So I definitely want to, um, make sure that I, I do that.